Hi guys, Story Recaps here. Today I am going to entertain you with a mystery thriller movie from 2009, called Exam, spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. In a windowless room with two rows of desks, eight candidates for a top job at a mysterious organization are gathered. They've met previous requirements that are not stated in the movie. They each take a seat, and a piece of paper on each desk identifies them as candidate 1, candidate 2, and so on. When the invigilator comes, he explains the regulations of the test. The test consists of answering one question with only one possible response. As a result, there will be no laws in the room other than those that the firm permits. Candidates are not permitted to communicate with either the invigilator or the guard. They are not allowed to mess with the paper, and they are not permitted to leave the room for any reason. They will be disqualified if they break any of the rules. The invigilator inquires if the candidates have any questions. He exits the room after setting the clock to 80 minutes. When the candidates are alone, they turn their papers over and discover that there is nothing printed on the back. They exchange puzzled looks before one of the hopefuls begins writing, I feel I deserve. She is sent out of the room by the guard because she has scrawled on her paper, ruining it. A young white man speaks up and persuades everyone to work together until they figure out what the problem is. It's arguable that the answer can't be simple for a profession this prestigious. It requires collaboration. He also gives insulting names to the candidates according to their physical appearance, black, white, brown, blonde, brunette, dark, deaf, then white considers what else the invigilator hasn't forbidden them from doing. He takes a step forward. Guard only acts if the regulations have been broken. As a result, candidates can rest assured that whatever spoken by the invigilator is permitted. They try to guess a secret message in the papers by holding them up to a light at first. Nothing is revealed on the paper as a result of this. Emergency lights turn on when the lights that surround the room are broken. They discover infrared light when they carefully break the emergency tubes. All of this makes it impossible for them to see anything on the page. They also learn that if one applicant damages the paper of another, neither will be disqualified. When Dark suggests that they are most likely missing something apparent, White immediately dismisses her. They attempt to lick the paper. White pees on it but discovers nothing. White picks on Deaf who speaks only French. Deaf displays symptoms of a mental or nervous disorder. While he tries to reorder some small pieces of glass on top of the paper, he says in French that they only need to look at the papers. They learn that Brown is a professional gambler, and he suggests that it's all a game, and that the board of directors is betting on who will win on the other side of the wall. Dark is a psychoanalyst who seems to be the only one who has some information about the company, the products it sells, its expansion, etc. Despite doing some research, none of the other candidates were able to uncover any information on the company. Dark tells them that the company they all applied to, worst job position beats any best job position in the world. It's a company that expanded on some kind of pandemic outbreak. They discovered the infection suppressants. This company's CEO is regarded as one of the most powerful people on the planet. As a de facto leader, White takes command of the group. Brunette realizes that as long as they don't talk to the guard, they can touch him. One of his pockets has a lighter, which she discovers. She wants to activate the fire alarm since something other than water could be produced, revealing an image of the question. She leaps onto a table, but the sprinkler remains beyond of reach. After successfully completing the task, she realizes that White gave her her own paper, and she is disqualified and escorted out of the room. I should punch your lights out, Black says as he walks furiously at White. Brown says the room lights up once it becomes dark. The light turns on. They figure out that it's voice activated. White bullies Def into tearing the paper and eating it. Def crawls away after obeying his orders. Def is thrown out by the guard, who drops his spectacles inside the room. White deceived them by telling them they could collaborate until they identified, but after Brunette was disqualified, they all started to distrust each other. As the tension builds to greater levels, Black punches White knocking him out and ends up, tied to a chair by Black and Brown. White begins to convulse and can't find his prescription, which he needs every hour. Then they realize White has been infected. White is most likely a company spy, according to Dark. Brown points out that Dark knows an awful lot about a company, 
and everyone starts to. Suspect darks the spy within the company and is working for them, and they want to, get the question out from her with torture. They find she is an employee at this institution when Brown is about to torture her by cutting her with a piece of paper. Brown also slashes her thighs since she has previously self-harmed on one of her thighs. Her eye would be next. Brown still believes her when she yells that she doesn't know anything. White is getting worse, and while everyone else is trying to decide the best way to help, Dark discovers that Brown stole White's pill and stuck it under his desk with a piece of chewing gum. Brown feels strongly about not giving White the medicine and smacks it from her grip. It is flushed away. Dark pleads for White's life in front of a blank screen, and is so disqualified. Blonde takes the pill out with her hair clip and forces the medicine into White's mouth, and he gets well almost immediately, they free him. He points out that the time is ticking away, and there are only four minutes remaining. White believes that only one person can win. He and Black get into an argument and rush for the guard's gun. After pummeling White to the wall, Black takes the gun and reportedly shoots White after being provoked, however they realize the gun didn't actually fire. They start to fight. White stabs Black with a pencil and gains possession of the firearm, and tries to shoot, Black, but the gun doesn't shoot once again. White comes to realize that the guard can only fire the gun, therefore he places the gun in the guard's hands. White warns everyone that if they don't leave, they will be killed. Brown walks away valuing his life. Blonde leaves and shouts lights out to allow Black to win. White kills Black in the dark. Blonde hasn't completely exited the room. Part of one of her foot is still in the room. When White notices this, he wants to shoot her, but the clock starts ringing, suggesting that time is running out. White shouts to the other side of the wall that he's won. Guard puts his hand on White's shoulder and shows him there is still time left. He loses because Def has adjusted the clock so that the 80-minute time slot has not yet expired. He tries to kill himself. He fails because, as noted previously, the gun will only function in the hands of the guards. The glass wall is switched on, and White can see the invigilator's silhouette. He appears devastated, as though he recognizes that his efforts have been infutile. The guard disqualifies him by leading him out. Blonde enters in the room and picks up her paper. She fumbles with the broken glass and Def's glasses as she reads question one written in tiny letters on the paper's watermark. She offers it to the Def, who returns to the room, and she says no, answering the question put forth, are there any questions? She is offered the job. It is informed to her that Def is the company's CEO. He's a disturbed but brilliant scientist who's developed a medication that heals wounds extraordinarily quickly. Blonde admits she might not take the job. When asked why she went to all that trouble if she didn't want the job, she points to Black, who is lying on the floor, and says it's unacceptable. The invigilator asks, who told you that he's dead? When she gets close to Black, she notices that the bullet wound is virtually healed. According to the invigilator, the fast healing tablet was placed within the bullet. They own the medicine's formula, which also cured Black's illness, but it can only be produced in small quantities. Along with ambition, intelligence, passion, and hard work, the new director needed sympathy. Lon takes at the opportunity. Subscribe and turn on the notifications. We daily upload videos like this.